What's Becky's biggest challenge with your weight? No hate. I love you both. Promise. Love you. So they're asking what your challenge is with my weight. Um, that's kind of scary. I'm scared what she's going to say. I feel like I have to do a lot of things without you. Like oh, if I want to go sad. places. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you'll go, but it usually hurts you. Yeah. So Man, this is why I always say it's just not practical to beat somebody to be with somebody that's really not compatible with your particular type of lifestyle. It's just really sad that this is not really even a lifestyle. This is just like walking places and going places with the intention of doing stuff like grocery shopping or laundry or whatever you guys are doing outside. I know. Yes. Okay. I have a star patch in the middle of my eye. I know. Okay. Why are you making fun of me? Why are you making fun of me? Why? Why are you saying that? That's rude. That's really rude, okay? But I'm trying to take care of myself, okay? I'm a mess right now. I don't know. I'm breaking out. I have like, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, dude. I, have to, I think it's a creatine. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter, okay? You know what does matter? You and your chosen life goal and how you plan on executing that and not complaining when you can't go places with your significant other because it's literally impossible for them to do that because they're so fat. That the idea of them walking outside is impossible. So, I mean, I see what Becky is saying, dude. I really understand that she probably it's probably really impossible for her to go places with Amber um, before this video keeps going. Because I feel like I need to put myself down here. It'd be a whole lot better. I hope nobody minds that. Just for the rest of the video. Because I feel like Amber is always at the top left-hand corner. It's like I go to my family's or I go grab something from the store. Just like you don't get to go true because you're so fat and like <laughs> this is sad as hell to have this damn she is re 2019 was not her year dude she is so inflated here oh my god like it's so crazy when i see amber at her peak physical shape i guess her body her, <laughs> it's so crazy because she has so much structure in the top part of her head with this like amazing hairline she has but the rest of her face is so blown up and i guess 2019 was like her biggest year 2019 into 2020 and I guess most people's years, biggest years were like around 2020 because of, you know, the vid. But for somebody like Amber, dude, it's so crazy when I see her at this weight and then I see her now where she's like, I think she's like 80 pounds lighter than she is here. And I think, wow, she looks so much better now than she does back then. But like Amber is still like 510 pounds now, which is crazy because like you're still in the 500s. I can't even believe I'm looking at you and I'm going, wow, you look so much better here. You're still ridiculously unhealthy. I can't even believe that I'm even making that, that like that statement. But I really do feel for Becky. Like, can you imagine having somebody that, all they're doing all day is just sitting at the house eating and I guess maybe watching like Love is Blind. I don't know. What does Amberlynn Reed do at the house when she's like not doing anything? Like, can she really even do much besides pull up Netflix? I don't fucking know. Anyway. Yeah, because a lot of people think, oh, Amberlynn, you could just get up and walk. You don't need a scooter. I can't go to any store. It's just, I'm about, I, I really hope I'm not about to hear what I'm about to hear. Uh, because I think she's about to say, like, she's not about to take any responsibility for herself. Instead, she's going to blame things like, oh, I can't find accessibility options. Like, sometimes the elevators don't work. Sometimes the escalators don't work. Sometimes there's not a scooter at the supermarket. And I'm, if that is really what you're about to say, and you're not about to say something instead of like, yeah, you know what, Becky, you're totally right. I should just lose weight. I should try to incentivize weight loss as much as I possibly can so I can enjoy life with you and other people around me. So that way I'm not like, prohibiting other people or making like I'm like a weight to be dragged and like you're just gonna have to do things by yourself like instead of that you know like I, I would really hope for her to say that but I know she's not gonna say that because for somebody like Amber I don't know what it is but Amber has like not evolved mentally speaking past the age of like 16 and she's like forever a 16 year old person that never wants to take accountability for herself and that's really sad because like Amber's in relationships like all the time she has like this ability to jump from relationship to relationship to relationship which in of itself would not be a bad thing but the way that she does it she doesn't actually i don't think she's actually attracted to anybody i think she's just in relationships because it's convenient for her to be in relationships like she wants to be in love so bad that she's in love with the idea of being loved but she's not actually ever in love you know what i'm talking about like i feel like she would just be in love with anybody so that's really really sad dude that's like a gay man that's only in love with BBCs. Like, what about the rest of them, dude? You know, like, what about the Asian guys? What about the Korean men? What, what about the Indian guys? What about the white dudes? You know, BBC, forget about BBC. There are other flavors, right? Anyway. Unless they have a scooter. Um, I can't go to any store. 
unless they have a scooter. Um, I didn't, I almost can't even believe that she's saying that. It's such a crazy ass thing to say. Just lose some fucking weight so you don't have to worry about this. If Becky ever wanted to go hiking, I couldn't go. If she wanted to go to a tunnel or what are they called? A cave. <laughs> I can't go. I've always wanted to travel and Becky. Like look at the face difference between Amber in like two years. What is this? Like two years, right? It's so crazy because she is noticeably thinner here compared to here. Right? You, you, you guys see what I'm saying? It's so different. Her face is like less inflated here. Never did, which... Go. I've always wanted to travel and Becky never did, which newly she wants to, which is so weird. Sometimes when, uh, sometimes when you're in a relationship with somebody and they're saying something just so flat out wrong, you almost kind of don't even want to say anything because you know that it, even the thought process of having that person say this particular thing is so ungodly levels of disrespectful that even me justifying this with a response would, me, would mean that I am souping this low in order to even argue that point. But I often do. Like I hate it when people say, <laughs> I hate it when like you're in a relationship and somebody says, well, you never did this. Like, you didn't do that. I'm just like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I, I literally did that. Like, what are you talking about? How can, you, how can you say that I didn't do that when I literally did it? Like, I have the proof. I have the DMs, actually, to prove that I did do that. How, how can you say that? And it's like, it's so monstrously disrespectful to have somebody say some shit like that. Because, obviously, Becky is... In 2019, saying that she would wish. She wishes that she could go places with Amber. She wishes that she could do more things with Amber. But for somebody like Amber, she can never take accountability. So it's always going to have to be somebody else's fault. And like having the, the ability to look inward and see that you are the problem is like incapable for somebody like Amber. And it's really, really sad because the relationship is never going to work, obviously, if like you can't do basic human being activities with each other. That's just, it's never going to work. And I think that... If Becky doesn't respond here, I think I know why, which is like, I'm pretty sure this is post relationship end, meaning like, I thought, I think right here in 2021, they broke up. So it's probably more so like, I'm not even going to justify this sort of response. Like, it's already over. Like, I already put so much time, so much effort into this literal failing relationship that accomplished fucking nothing. Like, I literally got nothing out of this relationship. I had to do everything for Amber. I'm not even going to justify it because at this point, I'm just cutting my losses. That's the way I'd probably define if she doesn't respond and becky never did which which you know it's really crazy how she can go becky never did like what are you amber come on dude come on i get it you guys are like broken up but i really hate it when people break up and there's some kind of like there's there's like volatism or like people are like well why are you so like have you guys ever seen the live streams with amber and becky and how she continuously shits on becky whenever somebody compliments becky it's so crazy because you can very clearly see that Amber is the type of girl that loves to be the center of the tension. Especially if you look on her Instagram or TikTok, dude. It is insane. Uh, all of her TikToks are like thirst traps, which are crazy. Because, like, I think Amber's 33 years old. Which, I mean, you can do thirst traps at 33 years old. But, like, if you're over 500 pounds, Jesus, 33 and you're 500 pounds? It'd be something that I would do when I was, like, 14 or something. But, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Amber is very obviously not the type of person that could take any type of accountability. And you can see, like, the look on her face. Like, can you imagine saying this to somebody? like Becky while this proof exists this is so like I would just it would satisfy me to no end to watch Amber Lynn Reed watch these videos back like you know what I'm talking about it would see oh oh it would make me feel so good to see Amber Lynn say this and then watch this video back oh man that would make me feel so satisfied oh man <sighs> newly she wants to which is so weird to me mm -hmm. So it's like, I thought I was going to be with her forever. So I kind of like put all my dreams on the back burner. Like you guys know that. Like a lot of you. What the fucking kind of, what kind of shit is that? Like I thought I was going to be with you forever. Therefore I put my dreams in the back burner. You should never put your dreams in the back burner. And if you are in a relationship with somebody, you shouldn't be looking at that individual as a purpose, as a person that is going to withhold you from doing the things that you want to do. This is why I always like to say like relationships are more of like, you two are both individual cakes and you guys are just the toppings on that cake. Like you're just the icing. You're just like the strawberries. You're just like the chocolates on the cake. You are your own cake. You are the primary thing that makes a cake, which is the batter or whatever the fuck they call that, the actual cake itself. So 
when I hear this, I'm just thinking, Amber, stop trying to make it seem like Becky is the reason why you didn't do stuff. Don't make it seem like that. You know the reason why you didn't actually do this shit was because you just didn't want to do it. And it's easier to, to, to blame someone else for your bad decisions than it is to actually look in the mirror and take accountability for those. Because it is. It's way easier to sit there and go, it's not my fault. It's the other person's fault. And that's really disrespectful and disgusting, especially while looking at the person while you're doing it, dude. You saw that? So I kind of like put all my dreams on the back burner. Like you guys know that. Like a lot of you saw that. Because when you love someone, you kind of like do that. Crazy, bro. She's like virtue signaling so hard here too by saying like when you love somebody as if Becky didn't love her. You know, I think a lot of people have different ways of loving. But sometimes for somebody like Becky, I feel like she's more show than tell. If that makes any sense. Like I know I'm in that same bracket. Like I hate it when I'm in a relationship with somebody and somebody goes... You know, David, you just never tell me you love me. Like, you never tell me I'm pretty. You never tell me that I'm gorgeous. You never tell me this and this. And then I'm like, like, what are you fucking talking about? We've been together for, like, three years. Like, why would I need to tell you I love you? Like, obviously, you know I fucking love you. What are you fucking dumb? Like, I, I, what do you, I literally, like, bought you, like, a, a, an MK purse. And I bought you. Like, what, what would make you think that I don't love you? Like, what do you mean? Why would you think I don't, like, think you're beautiful? What are you talking? Like, to me, it's like, what the fuck? But sometimes I understand that you just want to hear the person that, you care about the most say it but sometimes just people are just not like that and that's okay um people have different ways of loving and it's up to you to like i don't know like dismantle or not dismantle but like understand it and for somebody like becky i really think that she is more show than tell and it's obvious like becky has literally come out and said that she's done so much for amber she was literally what dude if somebody is if somebody is literally bed bound okay if you're like bed bound and your girlfriend comes in and washes you when you cannot move anymore. That's that. If that's not love, I don't know what it is. Okay. Like it, I granted, yes, it is, it is enabling in, in the sense of like, she shouldn't have done it. Like it's obvious. Right. But still you can't say that's not love. And you know, Amber is sitting here saying like, oh yeah, I love so hard when Becky has done so much for her, man. It's so disrespectful to hear Amber say this shit because she's completely ignoring all of the big giant decisions and things that she had to do that Becky had to do go out of her way to please her and go out of her way to to satisfy her needs man it's oh it's so gross and a lot of you saw that because when you love someone you kind of like do that I would just fucking leave dude I can't even, I almost can't even believe how disrespectful this woman is and it's like now that I'm talking to someone that like likes to travel and wants to travel i'm just like wow perfect match hi feline wasn't what a fucking gross person man what a fucking gross disrespectful person oh my god while sitting next to becky dude look at the side eye oh my good golly miss this is absolutely disgusting behavior never ever i don't care if the person that you were dating was the worst person on the planet this is absolutely gross man travel and wants to travel i'm just like wow perfect match hi feline wasn't fully happy either i have a lot of freaking shit that i have to work on like look at me i think for somebody like amber i've said this before is that she needs somebody that's going to push back on her because for becky i feel like she's very passive and she just kind of goes with the flow and she doesn't really like to say no because maybe we'll start conflict that's what i'm getting i don't know if personally obviously i don't know becky i don't know bex but that's what i get from her and for somebody like Amber, she does need somebody, I feel like, that's going to push back. That somebody's going to say no or somebody's going to put her in her place. Because Amber is just obvious. She's just too much of a, she's too much of a, a, a like, she's too much of a taker. So she's going to keep taking and taking and taking until that other person says no. And if the other person never says no, then it's, it's going to be a forever thing until the, the shit eventually breaks. So... I think that's the reason why she was saying that to Bex in that particular scenario because she knew that she wasn't going to say anything back, which is really fucking gross because if you're with somebody for a long period of time, this is not even me trying to virtue signal. Like this whole entire attitude of way of like thinking about this shit is, is really just disgusting, right? Like be an adult, right? Take some responsibility. I understand like you're probably hurting. I think Amber is probably hurting, but like you do realize that you were with this person, right? Like you guys shared a house, you guys shared love, you guys shared all this stuff. And to look at this person, I don't know. I just like part of me, I wish wishes that people would just be a little bit more adult-like, man. And I get that Amber is not really mentally speaking an adult, but it's, it, you know, be better, dude. You know, don't be sorry, be better. What a freaking shit 
that I have to work on. Like, look at me. I can't travel with her right now. Man, it's just like, it's so gross, man. It's so gross because it's like, it's a yes and a no into a yes again. Like, I can't, you can't travel with me because you're so fat. You break up with Becky and then you go, I would love, I would have loved to travel with her, but Becky never wanted to travel, which is crazy because she literally was complaining that she couldn't travel with you. And now that you broke up with Feline, now you're understanding that you, you can't travel. Bro, it is. And I want to give that to her. I want to be able to give that to her. And that's something me and her wanted to do together was go to a cave. And in this moment, I can't do those things. And us even just being on this little vacay situation, I've done really good though. I'm like doing things, I'm moving more than usual. My feet definitely notice. Um, but that's where I'm trying to like build up my stamina so I can do those things with her. And that's why I'm trying to lose weight so I can do things with her. Yeah, it's not so much about building up stamina. It's more so about losing enough weight so you can actually do these things with the individual. Because like just doing simple things like I know that girls like going shopping and I don't really like going shopping. But I know girls like going shopping. And when you shop, you're going to have to go from store to store to store to store. And I don't know if Amber realizes that sometimes when you're in like a shopping center, you're going to have to go from store to store to store to store, you know, walking. You're going to have to walk from store. And for somebody like Amber, that's impossible, right? Like Amber can literally not walk for more than 30 seconds at a time. And if she did, she would be like out of breath and have to take a seat anywhere she goes, which is incredibly imp – like I don't know if you guys have ever traveled with people that have to stop like every 20, 30 seconds – it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I know some people that are like in their 70s and 80s that have so much ridiculous stamina. Like they have no problem keeping up with somebody like me or somebody that's going to be maybe somebody that's a little bit more acrobatic than me. Like it's so crazy how I see people that are literally in their 70s and 80s that are more in shape than Amber. Like what excuse does she have, man? The food? Is it really the food, man? And I just feel bad because when we first got together, I could do so much more. Than what I can do now. So a lot of people have been asking about, you know, how far can you walk now? True. I honestly haven't been exercising, but I have been moving more. So the first time that I walked and stopped watched myself, I could only walk for a certain amount of time. What's the time? So Three minutes? Three minutes, dude? Amber says that she's a really sexual person, right? I would love to know what she's doing for three minutes. Dude, okay, look. It's all right if you're a dude. I know some dudes, I know some women want to go for like literally hours at a time. And the thought the thought process behind that is like, women can go for hours at a time. My nutsack is like kind of, it's like going up my leg right now. So I had to stand up for a second. But I know some women can go for like literally hours at a time because you can ejaculate multiple times. And like most dudes, it's kind of like one and done. And maybe you can go after that. But most dudes just kind of like their head's not in it anymore, right? They're no longer about it. And the way I like to look at it is like, why would you want somebody at 50% or 25% when you can get them at 100%, right? So I always like to postpone the, the ejaculation. Because women can go for a really long time. And I know you want to go for a longer time than me. But sometimes it's, like, really ridiculous. Like, I knew this one girl. She was like, I'm trying to fuck for hours. And I was like, ah, hours? Like, what if I got stuff to do? Like, what if I got to go somewhere? Like, what do you mean hours? Like, I can maybe do 30, 40 minutes. Like, I don't know what you thought. What did you really want to do at that point? You know, like, that. past that point, we're like, what are we doing, right? And for somebody like Amber, what can you do for three minutes? Like, what, what is that? What do you, what do you, uh, that's like you taking off your pants, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it's just, it's just you taking off your pants. And I would love, because she, Amber always says this. She always goes, like, I'm a really, I'm a hypersexual person. I love having sex. I love doing sexual stuff. Her words, not mine. And that's awesome. I, I really enjoy that Amber likes to have sex. That's cool. But what are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly, dude. Are you just laying there and letting the person do all that stuff? Like, do I have to, like, dance in front of you or something? And you just lay there? That doesn't seem fun. So, as of today, <laughs> I just want to do a little tidbit. When I first started walking, I had pain everywhere. I'm talking such horrible pain and tightening in my legs that I could almost not bear to walk. So I just want to say that I don't really feel that anymore at all. My breathing is just really, really bad and it's obviously because I'm over 500 pounds. 
I think that Amber saying this is completely irrelevant because it's not so much about walking one time and not having pain. It's more so walking all the time and not having pain. Like, I don't doubt that Amber can go one session of walk, which is crazy to even say, one session of walking and have little to no pain. But can you do that day in, day out for months to a year? Like, can you do that? No then I don't care. Like, I really don't care that you walked one time and you managed to go for like five minutes. I don't care. Can you do that consistently? Because like a short spurt, you trying to prove a point is not going to do anything. It's like when people go to the gym and they can lift a lot of weight, but it's not actually like they're lifting the weight. They're just kind of pushing the weight around, if that makes any sense. Like, oh, check me out. I can, I can deadlift so much. And their back's like crunched over and shit. Like they're doing, they can lift it, but they're not actually lifting it. They're just pushing the weight around, if that makes any sense. Like it's just ego lifting. And if that's what you're doing, Amber, then like cool, but it's also like doesn't mean anything. But it's really nice to see the changes with that. There's no changes. Like how I'm not in pain like I used to be. So that's a change. But I did a stopwatch. I didn't record myself doing it. Of course but not. I want to show you guys. I walked for three minutes. Man, it's just like. And 13 seconds. It's just so it, sad when I see. Like, three minutes and 13 seconds is. is Like, what? It, but I want to show you guys. Three minutes and 13 seconds, dude. Where are you going exactly? Like, if, you're, if your life was in danger. I don't even. I don't even understand what, what this even means, dude. Why would you ever be in a scenario where you're ever being tagged like okay whatever man I this is a youtube video by the way she's using a youtube video for a stopwatch that's crazy as fuck you don't have a stopwatch on this this macbook <laughs> okay bro amber just always doing the most man she makes no sense what are you doing dude you don't have your phone with a stopwatch for three minutes and 13 seconds that is again like you ain't having sex at three minutes like three minutes bro like come on dude even i can go way farther than 13 seven seconds Sorry, three more minutes. than i could do before crazy dude seven whole seconds anything's better than nothing but still damn and i'm totally fine with that because any you know amber really has a low bar man that's crazy as fuck to be like that seven seconds matters dude oh this is like this is really big for me you guys want to see something you ready for this one two three four five six seven that was seven seconds and that was like no exercise at all and you're celebrating that that's a normal thing that people do like walking outside picking up a vegetable picking, oh it's kind of brown really like that that's seven seconds and you're celebrating that it's nothing it's nothing the bar is set way too low for you <sighs> like have realistic expectations but this is ridiculous amber progress is good progress and just the fact that i don't feel like in pain like i used to is amazing and the only reason seven seconds is more equals no pain yeah true because like i feel like i couldn't breathe like i was breathing so hard becky was looking at me like are you okay like i was super ashamed and you guys know that like you saw that part of my journey because i'd be cooking something sometimes i'd say yeah i'm sitting down <laughs> what are you making babe it's crazy because Amber is bragging about being able to walk for three minutes, but she can't stand up for a few seconds to cut some meat. Yes, I am sitting down. My back hurts really bad. <laughs> uh, excuses, 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 dude. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. You can't have one of those like stepper machines that you just like move your legs on when you're sitting down. That would be way better than just this. And other times I was like, I don't need to say it, but you guys would be like, look in the reflection of the oven. She's sitting down to cook. And now I'm like, Walk. Yeah. One video, one video where she's walking. Check me out. Yeah. Everybody was calling me out because guess what? I was sitting down cutting meat, but now look at me walking in one video for a few seconds. Yeah. Check me out. Even though I was just like leaning over on the table for like a good 20 or 30 seconds of that. Yeah. No, no, no. Check me out. Walking. Booyah. Walking, standing, talking, cooking. I just did those little bit of dishes. Like, I just love this. Like, and then she just goes back down to like leaning on the table, bro. I love it. I love it. Way to prove a point. It's just so much different than how I used to be. Like, Who are you trying to convince right now? Like, why? Why are you? Are you trying to convince us? Are you trying to convince the audience of this shit? I couldn't walk for more than a minute and 16 seconds. I'm so glad I documented that. I literally couldn't stand for... It was no longer than a minute and a half to cook my food. Crazy. And now I cook my whole food without sitting. Nothing. Like, it's wild to me. 
It's wild. Damn. And I know a lot of people are like, because I've seen it myself. Dude, what the fuck is this shit, dude? You got a fucking ornament on the wall hanging oranges? Why? Why does Amber have so much weird shit? This is... Maybe I just don't, maybe I don't shop too much, but this is weird. You shouldn't be proud of something you should already be able to do. <laughs> Yo, what is this fucking face, bro? Yeah, I mean, she got a point. It, you know, why would you be proud of something that you should already be able to do? Like, this is a normal human being activity, but it is a dub for her, so I'll give her that. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. Like, I get where your mind is coming from, like, completely, but you guys have to realize, like, I was in mobile. Like, I couldn't do anything. That's true. I mean, any anything is progress, I suppose, dude, but the bar is set way too low for you, dude. Like, you're literally congratulating yourself for standing up and cooking the food that you're gonna eat. Like, that is low, dude. As opposed to what, like, sitting down and then getting up and walking to the door to get the Uber Eats order and sitting back down again? You've eliminated literally one of the steps, and, like, you've replaced it with standing up while you cook the food. It's, okay, sure, I mean, it's a dub, bro, but it's really not much at all, dude. Like, there's nothing, bro. There's nothing, man. <sighs> like, at all. And it was embarrassing. It was hard. Um... You just, you can't see me now and be like, she hasn't made progress. And Dude, okay. Yeah, you made, your progress is so incredibly menial compared to how anybody else would view their progress, bro. If I knew a fat dude, right? I knew this, I knew a fat guy one time that was celebrating the fact that he could lift himself off the floor like because he had never been able to do that before. And that was actually an amazing achievement because for him, it was never something that he thought he could ever do. And that is beautiful. And he could also hang, right? He could hang from a, uh, the, there was like those, you know, those things you could put on the door and you could just like do pull-ups on. He would, he could just hang from that. And he thought it was an amazing thing because he had lost like 150 pounds and it was great. Like it was the first time he ever could do that. And that was amazing. I'll agree with that. But for somebody like Amber standing for an additional seven seconds or like standing up to cook your food, like sure, it's a dub. I'll give you that. It's a dub. <sighs> But I think that should be better. I think you, you're capable of doing more, Amber. And if this is really the extent to which you're going to be like, I did it. I, I succeeded. I don't think that I think you're capable of a lot more. What can I say? I think that I'm holding you at a higher. I'm holding you higher than this. I'm being as humbling as possible. I'm not trying to be smug. I'm just proud. Like, proud for standing up and cooking your food? I get damn, dude. Ooh, damn. Damn, that shit ain't it. What the fuck are you doing? What is that? You are a weakness for me and I'm a weakness for you because if, you know, I'm trying to do better and not eat sweets and stuff, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, let's get an ice cream. And I True. can't say no. And then it's like, you know, if you're doing Jenny Craig or, you know, something like that, you're over there trying to eat diet food and I'm over there eating a freaking Totino pizza. Yeah, we, we, we both don't, we support each other in everything and anything. Yeah, but you enable each other. You guys are literally not good for each other. It's like two heroin addicts trying to get off heroin together while literally injecting themselves with heroin while telling themselves like, no, you don't need to get off the heroin. But when it comes to that, we just obviously don't know how to support each other. We literally made You do know how to support each other. You, you guys are just incapable of doing it. Like within hindsight, you can recognize it. In hindsight, you can look at that and go, okay, I see what we do wrong. I see that this is a problem and I know that we need to address this. But when when you're in the moment, you just can't. This whole plan that for her, we were gonna start out and let her walk to the mailbox and back every day. And we never did it. True. No. Still can. With everything I've been doing this last week, yeah, do you see how I've already built up my stamina? Isn't you that have. the weirdest thing? You Damn, bro. That's really fucking sad, bro. Because like, Becky, it, you're seeing the the enabling real time. Becky is saying like you could just go outside right now and go to the mailbox and come back. And then she goes, "Okay, but like, bro, you're like you know I've been doing a lot, right? So it's like why does it even matter?" And then Becky just caves. And Becky just caves instantly. That's really sad. You really have. The body is amazing, but it's fucking annoying too. Like, 
Yeah, I've already built up my stamina just in like the last five days. Like, Yeah, but like if you built up your stamina, that should be nothing to walk to the mailbox and back, right? Like if that's the case, you might as well just walk to the mailbox end. So crazy, like how the more you do something, like it's just so weird to me. <laughs> um, I thought Becky said you had to practice walking to the mailbox because you weren't. I thought I had to practice walking to the mailbox as well until I realized I could walk to the mailbox about 10 times over and be just fine. Stop the cat. <laughs> <laughs> damn bro look at Bex, dude that's sucking in the lips man that's crazy dude the straight lying damn dude We're trying to prove a point then how about you do it how about you stand stand on your business stand on your business go walk to the mailbox 10 times then you know what i'll give you three times three times walk to the mailbox walk back and do that three times three times just to prove the point why not right you got nothing to lose. How far away is the fucking mailbox, dude? I just walked like four miles today. What is your excuse, Amber? Damn. As well, until I realized I could walk to the mailbox about ten times over and be just fine. Stop the cap. Damn. It wasn't um, practicing walking to the mailbox. It was just trying to get some exercise, you know. And you can ask wifey. Obviously, you can't because she's not talking to you guys. Like. <laughs> It's because she has like a particular job and damn, she's like, so just... big in the face, dude. Mm -mm. It's just better to be safe than sorry. Then how the fuck are you gonna say go ask my girlfriend? Never mind, don't ask my girlfriend because she doesn't want to talk to you guys. She was like telling me like I know Very you can do it. I'm sorry. She was like I know you can do it and all this stuff and I was like no, I literally don't think so. And I was able to walk double, almost triple, the amount. Why are you lying? Why are you lying so hard right now to prove a point, dude? Like, why does she feel like she needs to do this shit? We all know you can't walk there. That I originally thought I could do. So, it's pretty freaking amazing. Y'all. I don't know if... Why does she wear stuff like this, man? What is up with her? Why does she have to wear stuff like this, man? This shit is so cringy looking. I told you guys I used to do these, like, ten little lap things. Um, that you never room. did? <laughs> like, to the hallway. And I remember, like... When I would get to seven, like it started to get really hard. Um, but the other day I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go until I can't go anymore. I will say that I did stop early because I got bored. <laughs> I got real bored. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? That's the reason why? You didn't you didn't you just, you didn't stop because it was painful. You didn't stop because it was hard. You didn't stop for any of those reasons. No, you stopped because you were bored. Yeah, I no, I believe her, dude. I totally believe her. And I was like, I just can't. True. So, but I did 35. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. And my stamina has just like literally gotten so much better. It's so crazy. Like how <laughs> um, your body can do that. Like now, how many times do I got to hear her say the same shit, dude? It's just so crazy that your body can do this. So crazy that you can do this with your body. How many times am I going to hear this phrase over and over and over again? Like, how many times can you find... Whatever, bro. I could barely do 10 before, and now I was, like, literally doing 35. And yeah. I was, like, fine. Damn, dude. The way she did that, too, like, rolling her eyes while she said it, dude. Why is she so smug? Why are you so smug when you do that? Yeah, I thought that was cool. So, cool. I just feel really good lately. Like, my stamina is crazy better. Like, I'm literally standing up. I, I'm sorry, dude, but, like, the bar is way too low for Amber, dude. I'm sorry. Standing up should not be an accomplishment, dude. I've been doing that since I was, like, two. That's normal. That's, like, everyday stuff, bro. What you talk about? Dude, if we over here rewarding Amber Lynn for standing up, dude. I, You know what, bro? I think that I deserve, like, a holiday then because I've been doing that for so long. And I walk. And I cook for myself. And I clean up. I know it doesn't look like that. And I have maple syrup behind me. But still. I do all these things and I just like we're looking at Amber and we're giving her claps for standing up. Dude, I don't know about that. Like, what about me? I just did the dishes. Stand it up. Give me a reward. People right now in the comment section, I need motivation, okay? Like, I'm sick of Amber getting all this like acclaims for being standing up and stuff like that. I need acclaims for standing up. Help me. To do this way in. Um That's not, nah, dude. I'm sorry. That's even worse. That's even worse. I stood up to do a weigh-in. So you weren't even just standing up because it was because you wanted to stand up because all right, whatever, bro. Whatever, man. Like I'm literally standing up to do this weigh-in. 
Um, have you guys seen that before? No. What are you talking about? Have you ever seen me stand up to do a weigh-in? As opposed to what? Like, okay. I just, I feel so much better. I'm not in as much pain. Man, do you know what I love about Amber is that she just says shit sometimes just to get people off her back. Like, she does say this shit because she knows that people are going to talk shit. So she's trying to, like, mitigate that as best she can. But what she doesn't realize, or at least maybe she does realize this, and I don't know. But her saying this shit is just going to make it worse. Because people know the fucking truth, Amber. Like, don't try to sit there and lie to us. You're saying this shit because you know that we're trying to hear this. But it's, like, I don't want to hear it because it's it's a lie. I want to hear it because it's the truth. I don't get out of breath as much. I could just do things that I couldn't have done definitely not two years ago okay. like i just i notice every single day i get better and things get easier and it's just been really nice this is gonna sound so weird no man why what happened to your eyebrows dude eyebrows just disappear but a huge non-scale victory for me is singing in the shower so when i go back and i think of 2000 being in the shower already is an achievement for amber dude even though that's not really much of an achievement dude i've been taking showers for a long i took a shower last night <laughs> but just simply being in the shower, ha, oh, GG, Amber. Real talk, that's a really good thing, you know? I mean, you've been smelling like pure musk butter for like years of your life, but I'm so happy you found the willingness and the strength to, do you stand up in the shower or do you sit down? Do you have one of those like shower chairs things that like 80 year old people have to use? I mean, if you do, it's all right, but you know, hey, I'll take a dub wherever I can. I don't give a fuck about you singing in the shower. Uh, I really care about you taking showers. So that's a dub, I'll take the dub, I'll take that one. 2019 i really could barely shower crazy i'm being 100 percent honest with you guys gross My and you know who had to clean her you know who had to clean her in 2019 2020 becky bex had to clean her in that time period and it's really gross that she's sitting there and she's saying that bex never really wanted to do anything for her or do anything with her and becky was out here fucking literally with the fucking, you, what's that like, you know the saw blade or whatever, the thing that you use, the, the filing thing? She was in there just, you know, trying to get off the, the, um, the sea anemones, the, the crustaceans, the, the people that were growing on Amber's body for extended periods of time. Because you got to think about this, right? I've literally, I've seen videos before of big people that had whole civilizations growing in the belly button because you can't ordinarily clean it. And it doesn't really have good access to the water because like when the water cascades off your body, for me, it's no problem, right? The only thing I really have to do is I like lean back, spread my cheeks a little bit so I can get that water to cascade through the butt cheeks, right? By the way, most men got to do that. Most men don't even, most dudes think it's gay to even have a butthole. So it's always, a, it's always an incentive to... Get the, get the butt cheeks cleaned as best as you can. I'm not saying you have to like, you know, you don't have to like go in it, you know, but you, you know, you should probably be, you should probably most definitely be cleaning it up a little bit um, with the cloth, with the cloth, soap and water. That stuff's like lathering and stuff like that is really good for you. But uh, it's, it's like, it's very impractical when your belly button is nine, 10 inches deep. And you know, the deeper you go, it's just more and more civilizations that are growing i mean you might have like the stone age at the first layer right but like as you go further in you're coming across civilizations that have discovered like you know like the dyson sphere like they're they're like trying to harness the power of the human body itself to like maximize their growth potential right that's what they're trying to do and you know becky had to go in there i don't know how she cleaned out the belly button exactly i presume that she probably got like some kind of stick with you know wrapped it kind of like you ever watch rambo and how rambo went in there with like when he was entrapped in the cave and he wrapped like a random cloth around a stick and he lit it on fire because he dipped it in like i feel like that's something you're gonna have to do with amber you just like go in there with a flaming hot stick of fire to like burn out the all the civilizations or something like that i mean i don't know what else you could do it's probably gross probably smells bad too probably smells like expired grapes or something like that just cooking i don't know or like burnt sea otters or something i don't know my legs would literally shake while i was in the shower i couldn't shower for more than two minutes two minute showers bro i mean you're saving money on water i guess my breathing was as if i just ran a hundred miles it was it was honestly so bad and it's like the fact that i'm not exaggerating i totes wish i was totes just goes to show like how freaking unhealthy i was what do you mean I was i mean you're probably better now but okay bro any 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 anything's a dub i, I guess i tell you my breathing was so bad 
I like couldn't even say one word without gasping for air. I had to wait to wash my hair on different days because I couldn't even wash my whole body and my hair at the same time. Yeah, uh, you gotta also understand that when you're this big, you got, you know, for me, right? I weigh 150. Uh, Amber weighs at her peak, I think when, when she was like around this size was 600 pounds around that. So th let me just do the math. That's four of me, right? That is easily four of me that she has to wash, right? For me, when I'm in the shower, it's, it's no problem because I'm one person. I just like, I'm in there, you know, I'm cleaning it off. I'm doing all this stuff. It's no problem. I'm in and out of the shower. If I was just to, just to properly cleanse myself, 10 minutes at most, but I usually are, I'm usually in there for like 30 minutes because like having the water cascade off me. But for somebody like Amber, she's got to wash four times the amount of human, but she doesn't have four people in there. She's just got herself that she just stacked on four individual humans on top of her, you know, and, and, and there's no extra muscle mass. It's just extra body. And that's just got to be agonizing. Think about all the extra weight that you had to be pushing around uh, when you take that shower. It's crazy. Because I literally could not stand in the shower for more than two minutes. That's now, sad. I shower peacefully. There's no out of breath. <laughs> There's no pain. There's no discomfort. I'm able to stand there and let the water fall over me yeah. while I'm belting my lungs out without feeling like I'm out of breath at all in the slightest. I know that sounds like so weird and a lot of you are like, really? But when I tell you the changes in my breathing and in my stamina have <laughs> completely shocked the shit out of me. I am being 100% genuine. And I just wanna let you guys know that I come from a place of where I was practically bed bound, couldn't even walk for a minute. And now I'm walking for 30 minutes at a time and doing- I would love to see a whole vlog of Amber walking for 30 minutes at a time. I would love to see that. You can't take the phone outside? I know you got it. You're good. You got a new iPhone, right? Amber always got the new iPhone, right? That basic bitch phone. But it's I right. Like, go outside, put your shit on a stick, and go like this. Oh, guys, check me out. We're walking. I'm walking today. I walked with my legs. Can you believe that? 30 minutes. Let's do it. 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. Take your break. You're good. Make your food. Stand up. Make your food. I would love to see that. I just need to see. Let me see the receipts. Let me see the proof. I need to see the proof. I don't believe her. Flights of stairs. That's a fucking lie. Nah, I'm nah, dude. You fucking lied to me, bro. You ain't going up four to six flights of stairs. That's crazy as fuck. Not even the biggest Uber Eats delivery would make you go up the four four to six flights of stairs. Why are you lying so hard, Amber? That is like a, this is such an infeasible thing to say. Why would you ever say that? For thirty minutes at a time and doing four to six flights of stairs. And doing so that means like she's walking the thirty minutes and then she's walking up four to six flights of stairs, which is not true. There's no way, Amber. That's ridiculous. Is, is it hard? Yes. Does it feel like sometimes I'm not gonna make it out alive? Yes. But I do it, and the satisfaction afterwards feels amazing. I truly hope to just get better and better at this point. I notice the more I walk. And the more I walk up the stairs, it all just becomes so much easier. I will say though, I hate exercising, but I do it and I'm motivated to do it. And I have people around me who are like supporting me and egging me on and telling me you can do this. So as much as I hate it, I also love it. Does that make sense? The rumor yeah, so that's like the entire reason why everybody works out is because the benefit of working out is better than the, the time it takes and the effort it takes to put in. Like you're getting more out of it than, than you're getting more out of it than you would be if you were putting it in. But I guess that's like crazy to Amber or something like that. For some reason, she's always like, I don't know why she's so shocked that when you do something more, you get better at it. What are you, like, of course. Yes, Amber, that's like how everything works in your life. I that you have all this stamina now. So with that said, put a camera on yourself, walking Twinkie by yourself with- True, oh my God, dude, people are on it. Out speeding up the time. So the reason why I do- Like, oh man, I'm already, I'm already feeling it, dude. The reason why you don't do it is because what? It better be one of the best excuses on the planet. Lapses of me walking is because I do get a little puffity puffity out of breath. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the sound. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, dude. Literally, it doesn't matter. Just put a voiceover. Like, have yourself walking and then post, right? Get rid of the sound and then just record yourself recording audio. Just say, like, hey, guys, it's me, Amber. And here in today's video, as you can see, I'm walking in this video. And so I thought it'd be entertaining if I could 
do a voiceover for 30 minutes, which realistically wouldn't even be a problem for me since I love talking. So I can just talk for 30 minutes here about literally anything, and it's motivation because guess what? I'm walking, guys. And so like, you can just do that. I'm sure everybody would love it. Everybody would love that, dude. I would probably watch that. No one wants to hear that. No. It was me, so I don't... Excuses. What do you mean nobody would want to hear that? I want to hear it, dude. What are you talking about? I want to hear it. You know what, Amber? I want to hear it. So that automatically disqualifies with the everybody would not want to hear that. I want to hear it. Huffity puffity, out of breath. No one wants to hear that. It annoys me, so I don't want to have to edit by hearing that. And what do you mean you don't have to edit it, though? You don't have to. What you can do... If you really didn't want to have the sound in there... <sighs> Man, dude, Amber just need an excuse. Just say that. Just say you need an excuse, dude. Just say you just don't want to do it. That's the reason. You were lying, and this is a whole big illusion. You just wanted to tell people this this one thing so that way they get off your back. And now when people are asking you to stand on your business, you don't want to. Because now you know that you can't. It's impossible for you. Just keep it a buck. It's all right. You don't need to lie. You don't need to lie like that. And let me tell you, okay, if you have no experience with editing at all, it's literally very simple to just go through and on the soundtrack, just mute it. Just have it literally to zero. And then once you do that, just record a 30 minute audio of you literally doing anything at all. You can't do that. You can't just record like a 30 minute audio. Doesn't this girl like put out like one video a week? Dude, you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. It's not that much of work. It's really not. And I also like know for a fact y'all don't want to be hearing that. So it, no, we want to hear it. I speak for your fan base. We want to hear it. I don't care about the sound. If you if you if you care about the sound, you could take out the sound and just put a voiceover or just like a music, some like non copyrighted music or something like that. You could do that, but I promise we want to hear it. We want to hear the <sighs> like your Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle ASMR Amberlynn breathing for thirty minutes. I need to hear it. Let me hear it. I need to hear it. If your dog needs to hear it. We all need to hear it. Plus, I do walk for a longer time. Like last time I did a time lapse, I walked for like 31 minutes. You know what I really, how are you, how are you literally coming up with excuses to not show us you walking while doubling down and saying that you walk more than what we think we walk? Like, how do you do that? How do you lie and then stack another lie on top of it to try to make it seem like the first lie wasn't that bad? Come on, Amber. I'm not going to sit there and have a 31 minute video. Dude, uh, what are you, how long is this video right now? 47 minutes okay as right now the time is making my video right here 47 minutes dude make uh, nobody cares if it's a long video people will skip around it's all right we just want to know that you could do it of me walking like that's so boring like it's really not amber dude don't you have like literal live streams where you just sit down and eat like what are you talking about it's it's got to be way better than that it's way, what are you talking about you're like, absolutely not so the time lapse is just like meeting in the middle. You guys, there's a large portion of you who really do think that I'm lying about my stamina. Yeah, because you just came up with an excuse on top of an excuse and then try to double down through the excuse. I was just told it's fine. I know it's hard to believe that I used to only be able to walk a minute and now I'm walking 31 minutes. Why wouldn't you record it though? Like, I don't understand. Like, okay, hear me out. You're walking for 30 minutes to get your exercise and people go, hey, Amber, you're saying that you're walking for 30 minutes, right? Wouldn't it be great to, when you walk for those 30 minutes, to just, I don't know, have a camera strapped on you and just walk while that 30 minutes is going on while you're doing whatever you're doing and just upload it? Like, I don't know, like just extra because why wouldn't you? Like, I'm sure your phone can hold 30 minutes of recording footage. Just record it at like 1080 or something like that. You're good. And then just upload it. Just uh, don't even have anything extra. Just upload the full 30 minute walk. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. And you're still coming up with excuses to try to make it seem like we are the ones like, oh no, you guys don't want to hear it. No, we want to hear it. We, we don't care. We don't care. We just want to see the exercise. It doesn't matter. It's just extra content that you're putting on the, to the channel. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. Literally, you don't need to put extra music. You don't have to mute it. You don't have to worry about it. We don't care. There are literal entire YouTube videos. There's there's a 10 hour version of Freebird with a rat spinning, okay? There's, there are literally thousands of videos on YouTube that are completely useless, that are there, but people still watch them. You know why? Because they're entertaining in the same way that this would be entertaining. Anyway, just come up with excuses. Just, just, say, just say you can't do it. Just, I don't know why you're lying. I just don't know why you would be lying like this. That's totally fine. I know that's like hard to believe for some people, but y'all like, Things do happen. Bodies do change. You do. Because it, it's easier said than done. Like you could say a whole bunch of shit and never have it ever mean anything because 
I why would I believe this? Dude, you literally lied about things in the past. You literally said before you don't like pizza. You don't like pepperoni pizza. And then I saw an entire video of you body slamming an entire large pepperoni pizza from like Domino's. Why the fuck would I believe you when it comes to you talking about some, oh yeah, I can walk for 31 minutes. Oh, really? Really? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Show me. Show, I need to see the receipts. I need to see the receipts. Because otherwise, why the fuck would I believe you? You're literally lying in front of Vex. You're literally lying in front of her. You start getting better. It feels really good to just stand here and talk to you guys. Without Shut up, dude. Amber is just always projecting, man. Always like, why do you just humble bragging? That'd be like me coming like, hey, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, it's going to be a great video. Oh, man, it just feels so good just sitting here right now with my dick out, just massive, meated up, big as fuck. Uh, I just really can't tell you how great it is to be as big meated as I possibly, it actually makes me quite sad that there are gentlemen on the planet that will never be able to experience the pure meeting, the massive meat ladon bigness that I present to myself every single day. I wake up, there's holes in my ceilings, I got rug burn on my meat, I have to apply three or four different types of uh, lotions and other lubricants to properly nullify all the um, terrible, disgusting, you know, uh, the beat off blisters that I have. The other day, I hired three different crane crews just to lift up my meat so I could properly beat it off. Um, NASA. NASA knocked at my door. They said, David, can we, uh, listen, fuel is really expensive and we would actually find it a little bit more efficient and it would be better for the planet. If we could real deal, strap our shuttle to the, the, the tip of your meat and then you just get an erection real quick and you can elevate that shuttle to the moon. It would be great if you could do that. Um, by the way, we didn't really like what you did back in 2011. Um, we didn't like that. You you know, when they made that movie, right? You guys remember that movie, Godzilla? Um, yeah, they, that movie was made after my dick. Like, they saw my meat and they were like, yo, we got to make this. We got to make this movie called Godzilla Butch and Me. Obviously, it was sized down because you can't fit all that on the screen. You would need like a panorama or something like that. Um, they told me they didn't like what I did back in Japan a few years back in 2011 when they had the tsunami. I told them it was my bad. Like, I didn't know that they would cause a tsunami. I had to wash my meat real quick. So I picked up my meat and I threw it in the water, the Pacific Ocean, real quick. And I started scrubbing. You know, I started scrubbing my meat a little bit, trying to get off the skin flakes. And um, it caused a tsunami. I was like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It was just my bad. I, what can I say? I got a big meat. I mean, I'm big as fuck. My shit is literally massive mega meated that's what they should call me mega meated anyway that's like what, what kind of humble brag is this I'm feeling like i'm out of breath or like there's any sort of pain i noticed with the weight loss and a little bit of exercising i'm doing my stamina is like like getting so much better what is something you noticed that got easier since you've lost so much weight so i actually noticed really important things have gotten easier showering i'm able to walk outside and enjoy it doing the dishes cleaning around the house, even just cooking. There was a time when I could only walk for a minute. There was a time where I couldn't even stand to cook to chop some zucchini. And now I'm cooking for 30 plus minutes and I'm like, totally fine. Like, it's so crazy how not only weight loss can help a body just feel so much better, but like every day actively moving more to build your stamina, it just completely changes everything. It's crazy. I can tell you without a doubt, weight loss is not always the end all be all. I am down over 80 pounds, but I know for a fact. She gained that weight back. She gained that weight back. As of 2024, she gained that weight back. If I was not up, moving more, walking, exercising, then my stamina would not be this good. It's Losing weight isn't gonna be the only thing that builds my stamina up. I have to actually be trying to move more and move my body more and get used to those movements because then eventually I'll just be able to do more and more and more. Duh. Like I used to be completely like immobile. Like I, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around like the person I used to be. And I thoroughly believe that exercising standing more all of those things are just as important to my stamina and overall heart health dude okay i'm done we're not watching anymore of this shit bro amber lynn literally gained back that weight okay as of 2024 she's literally like i think she's 510 as the time of this making of this video because she gained more weight she was below she was like 489 i think and but she gained that all that weight back because she binged for like a week or something like that i don't fucking know dude amber is always doing some shit but anyway 
I appreciate you being here today. Thank you for taking the time with me today. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Sharing the video helps me out immeasurably. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate that. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in stanma, stanama, stamina, stamina. Type in stamina because uh, do you have as much as Amberlynn? Do you have more than Amberlynn? Tell me what you guys think down below. I need to know because I think, you know what? Even though Amberlynn projects so hard and she virtue signals so hard, I only really do want to see her succeed and get the proper help that she needs to. But the problem is like, she's such a bad person dude she's such a <laughs> she says such bad terrible disgusting shit so often man and it like every time i think it's like oh i just wanted to succeed but then i hear her say really terrible stuff and i'm like dude why the fuck would you say that shit i still want it to succeed i still want it to be better but it's tough sometimes but anyway guys um i love you i care for you you're such an amazing person i love the way that you have the ability to better yourself and the people around you um, you obviously take care of yourself i know you do because you're here right now and why wouldn't you be taking care of yourself and you're taking care of people around you, which is really, really beautiful on top of that. Through the process of taking care of yourself, you should be selfish. You should be in the sense of like, you should be staying away from people that make you feel sad. You should be staying away from people that just want the worst from you. And you know those people. You should always be looking out for yourself first and foremost. And that is a beautiful thing. Because guess what? In the process of doing that for yourself, you're also making it easier for other people to exist around you, and that's beautiful. That's amazing. So as a byproduct of doing that, you're making everybody else's life easier and better as a, as a, as a consequence of that. But anyway, guys, we're getting the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Instagram, Twitter, Discords, all that stuff is all linked in the description of the channel uh, and the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.